Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'll be telling you guys how I pass exam FM in approximately eight to nine weeks. Um, this is when I was also interning um, for Milliman. So I was studying for the exams and also interning. So it requires a bit of a time management. So I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly step-by-step -step procedure of what I did to pass. So the first step you have to do is look at the times in the SOA site, um, make sure that the exam is, let's say, three to four months before um, whenever you're actually signing up. So it gives enough time to study. Uh, I think eight to nine weeks for me is like the bare minimum you should do. Um, if you have prior experience, you can do six to seven weeks, I would say, um, then register. And then the resource that I would really recommend is Coaching Actuaries. Um, this tool I've used for exam P and I also pass exam P in four weeks. I think it's slightly easier because I'm stronger at calculus, but if you are better at understanding concepts and you took several classes, corporate finance classes or investment classes, FM is definitely the way to go first. Um, it's split into three different concepts, annuities, loans, bonds, and I think using the calculator um, the BA2 plus calculator is, is, is essential and is key to passing this, this exam. So a step-by-step -step procedure of me passing. Um, I don't know what score I got, but I pass and that's all that matters. Um, is to follow the schedule really carefully. Um, I think that's a key thing. And the one I would get is like the 180 days access plus... Um, the one pass guarantee so in case you fail you can still do it and there's also a COVID-19 piece of my policy so that's really excellent um, I think it's $216 um, this is this might be in the pricey side there are other resources out there but I think this one's the best all-in-one tool so within the FM there is the scheduler or the study schedule um, you would like to spend I would say one month-ish on the first phase one, which is learning the theory. And this is relatively straightforward. You just learn the material. Um, if you completed it, click yes. If not, then no. And then with every single uh, section, you should do two quizzes. This is what I did, quiz one and quiz two, and they range from level three to five after each subsection. So you do this all of month one. And then that's part one. That's phase one. Uh, phase two is the practice and review. This is the key, key step for me. I basically spent 13 to 15 uh, days or exams. I did like one a day or maybe uh, one and a half days for an exam um, on doing the default conditions, just starting from your earning level of three all the way up, up, up. I think I reached like six or something. And then I went back down to five, eight, four when I took the actual exam. 13 to 15 exams in default conditions. So... I didn't really care whether they came from the SOA, the CAS, or the the coaching actuaries original website. Um, just took the exam, understand the concepts, understand how they're going to ask certain questions. Uh, and I reached level 5.84. After those, I think I spent 20 days on it. The remaining like 15 days or so was just hammering at level 5 or 6 SOA CAS only questions and alternating it with the SOA 250 questions from this site. So they're super similar since one has to come from another. So um, I did, ba I basically, like one day I would do 30, 60 questions of uh, level five to six. The next day I would do 30 to 50 questions of all from this and repeat over and over again, alternate them for let's say 20 days. So you would run through this whole SOA twice or three times. By the time of it, you'll probably get sick of it. You already know exactly what to do from that point on. Try to not understand. You have to understand the concept and just not memorize the answers because many things will be repeated. But if you understand the concept fully, the exam will be a breeze to you. Um, for my August 2020, there are quite a few conceptual questions, like four to five out of 35 were conceptual questions. And most of them can easily be answered if you did this over and over again. Um, they test the same thing. They test the same knowledge. And you have to just make sure you know 
this concept that are worth memorizing, like the difference between like prime rate, Lieber rate, five different rates. Just remember them in the back of your mind what it is. What are the conditions for full immunization, Reddington, Reddington immunization? Just put it in the back of your mind. It's like one point that takes five seconds to do in the exam, but it only takes like 30 minutes of memorizing or understanding the concept of every single one of them. Uh, I, when I actually took the exam, I spent 30, sec 30 questions. Uh, two hours on the 30 question and I was stuck only between five questions so I spent the last hour on those five questions but definitely it should be a breeze to you if you follow this exact same study habit I think 30 days on this 20 days on just following the default and then the other 20 days or if you have less 10 I would say that's the key thing on just hammering level 5 to 6 SLA slash cast questions only alternating it with this and also this, sorry, and also going on the forum of reddit.com slash r slash actuary. It's really useful for people who are actually taking the exams as you are to discuss if you have any same issues or concerns or not. But I would really recommend coaching actuaries. It has saved my life so many times. I Yes, I took corporate finance before in class and yes, I took uh, investments. So some things might be uh, like a review, but... I don't think I have access to the FM because my thing expired, but definitely um, just hammer down the quizzes and then take the exams and then do these over and over again and make sure to understand the concept instead of just memorizing the numbers because that never, never, ever works out. I think IFM is worse, so I'm currently studying for that right now, and I'm doing the IFM using Coaching Actuaries. Um, I'll let you know how it goes if I plan to take it later this year or next year, but definitely follow these, and you'll do a really good job, and you'll pass the exam in no time because you're going to be confident when you enter the exam. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this has helped you.